Go on, Seamus, sing us a song. Here's a song you'll never forget, lads. When I was a little boy, my world was filled with many hopes and dreams. So many promises and prospects, life was magical, it seemed. But then I grew up and it soon became apparent to my eyes. <laughs> it's all a fucking <laughs> lie. Everybody see It's the end. Welcome to Okanagan City. Well, thanks. I just moved back here from Ontario. It's so great to be back. I wasn't talking to you. Okay. A quaint little community populated by friendly and mild-mannered folk. Out of my way, bitch. I'm gonna fuck yourself. And located on the banks of Okanagan Lake, a lake made famous by Oko Pogo, a well-celebrated yet mysterious lake monster who local scientists believe is some sort of limbed serpent. And here we have Okanagan City Hall, where all the important decisions regarding the community are made. Among the council members are Mayor Rockefeller, Reverend Copernicus, Duke Duncan, and the council's very own hipster, Trent Miller. Let's see what sort of important decisions are being made today. All right, gentlemen, now for our next order of business. What's to be done about the depleting salmon populations in Okanagan Lake? Actually, Mayor, I believe that I've come up with a solution to that problem. Mr. Duke Duncan, is this just another one of your stupid money-making schemes? Not at all, Mr. Miller. Why, I'm concerned for the salmon population. The fishermen of this region depend on it. And what have you come up with, Mr. Duncan? Well, as it turns out, my cousin back east runs a shrimp farm, and he's promised to distribute the live shrimp to me at cost. It's simple, your divinus. All we have to do is provide the salmon with an abundant food source. Why, salmon farms have been feeding shrimp to salmon for years. Oh my god, that's actually quite brilliant. What do you think, Reverend? The good lord truly does work in mysterious ways. Good idea. I'm like wearing it. a vibrating cock ring. Whoa, whoa. Hold on a minute. Okay, let's just relax, take a deep breath, and, you know, maybe gather some common sense, or whatever sense we can muster up for a second. I mean, come on. Shrimp are not indigenous to Okanagan Lake. Isn't it possible that introducing an undomestic species to our local environment might have catastrophic consequences? Oh, what a surprise. Trent Treehug was opposed to an idea that could actually benefit the local economy. Isn't there a tree out there in the woods somewhere begging for your sweet lovin'? Wait. Is that Marvin Gaye playing in the background? <laughs> what is that? What are, you, what are you doing? Go to her, Trent. Just go to her. What are you talking about? The tree, Trent. She needs you. Don't think about it. Just go to her. Okay, that's enough. Just take her, Trent. Remind her what it means to be a tree. Massage your bark with your taste buds. Caress your branches with your sultry swaying hips. Okay, Duke, I get the idea. Just rub up against her, softly at first, then a little harder, then even harder. Oh my god. Oh my god, just give it to her, Trent. Just fuck that filthy bitch. Harder. 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 Oh wait, that's too hard. Softly. Softly. All right, just make sweet love to her. Look into her eyes and tell her what she means to you. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's gonna come. Oh my god, here it comes. Shut up. Oh shit. Fuck her, Trent. Fuck her. Ask her if she's a slut. Ask her, Trent. No, tell her she's a fucking slut. Choke that bitch, Trent. Choke that bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? Do you have anything to say to that, Trent? Actually, I'm kind of speechless. Well, then it's agreed. We're going to introduce shrimp into the Okanagan Lake. What? Based on that argument? Well, you have to understand that from our point of view, your response in that debate was fairly weak. What? But that wasn't a debate, that was just a bunch of tactless and vulgar taunting. Nevertheless, you lost the argument. Motion passed. Duke Duncan, you have our permission to get the project going. Welcome to politics, kid. Alright, this is the first official gathering of the Mafioso Movement. Can I have your attention, please? Uh, there's only three of us, Scud. You don't have to be so formal. I realize that, Poncho, but I need to practice for when our organization grows. All right, so I greet the board of directors of the Mafioso Revolutionist Movement. Coral? Hello, team. Poncho? Let's do it, compadres. And Leon? Sup, homies? Okay, so this is what's happening. 
Our spiritual advisor Koro has suggested that we need to get in touch with the collective consciousness, find out what's causing the world to become so misled by the powers that be. Although most of us present have managed to break away from the mainstream networks of TV programming and shifted to more conscious media via the internet, the fact remains that the majority of the world is still hypnotized by the lies being spread by TV networks. So here's Koro to explain the purpose of this exercise. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Basically, we're going to spend the afternoon watching some of the most popular TV shows that govern the direction of modern media to see what kind of lies are being spread to the world while taking mental notes. This way, we can learn to understand what the enemy is thinking. Those of you who are afraid of any brainwashing effects are free to take any necessary precautions. I'm on it. Okay. Now to ease our minds into the process before we move into popular media, we're going to start the afternoon with a little bit of Canadian politics. 